Welcome to another lesson in Google App Inventor. Today we're going to be creating a game called Mole Mash. And in this game, we're going to have a mole that pops up at random positions on our canvas. And as you click on your phone, the player scores points by hitting the mole. And the mole will be randomly popping up around the screen. So it's a simple game that uses animation in it and a timer as well. Okay, so to get started, go ahead and get logged in. Go to My Projects. Make sure you're logged in. We're going to click on New. And the project name is going to be called Mole Mash. Capital M's. No spaces. And you want to open your block editor. So click on Opening the Block Editor. If you guys are in my class and you're using Firefox, just make sure the Open With uh, thing is checked. Click and just click OK. Mine's a little different since I'm using Chrome, uh, Google Chrome. It's a different browser. We're going to let this thing load. There we go. And then when your block editor opens up, just go ahead and minimize it. We don't need it right now. Also what you want to do, we're going to download a picture. So Go back to the main page for Google Apps and then go to Learn. Go under Tutorials and then click on Mole Mash. And where it says under Getting Started here, it says also download this picture. It's going to be this picture of the mole. So you want to left click and then right click on it and do Save Image As. And you're going to save it in your Google App Inventor folder and that's going to serve as our little picture that's going to move around the screen and it's 36 by 42 pixels it's a PNG file what we could do if we wanted is we could create our own picture and use that as our thing if you wanted to not have a mole mash game you could have a Bieber bash game or whatever so that's something you could change up if you wanted to next what we're going to be doing is adding in all the components for the game and then that'll wrap up the first part of our mole mash lesson okay first thing we want to do is where it says screen one here we want it to say the title of our application so we're going to type in mole mash and then we can see our applications name right here it's always good to do next we're going to click under the basic palette here. We're going to go here and select canvas and left click and drag it out. This is going to serve as the area where the mole moves around. This is going to be like our the area for the game. So we're going to rename it. We're going to name it My Canvas capital M and a capital C and no spaces and click OK. And then we're going to change the width the width is going to be 300 pixels and as you see when I do that it changes and the height is also going to be 300 pixels once you have the canvas now we're going to put in our label for our score so you're going to left click and then drag down below the canvas we're going to rename this score label all one word, capital S, capital L. And then under where it says text, you're going to type in score and then a colon. After that, you're going to go and get a button. And you can put it below where it says score and we're going to rename this button it's going to be called the reset button all one word capital R and a capital B and then under text over here under properties we want our button to say reset so that'll reset our score when we click it
under the media section on the palette, you're going to see where it says sound, and you're going to left click and drag your sound. And the sound is a non visible component, so it'll appear down here. And we want to rename sound, we want to call it noise. What we're setting up with this is that when we click on the mole, our little sprite, what it'll do is it'll vibrate. There we go. Next, we need to put in two more components. We need to add a timer for our clock component, and then we need to add in the actual image sprite which is our mole. So under basic you're gonna see clock. Go ahead and left click and drag it. And the clock is a non-visible component as well. We're gonna rename it. It's gonna be called mole timer. Capital M, capital T, no spaces. Under timer interval we're going to set it to 500 milliseconds. This is in milliseconds. So what that's going to do is 500 milliseconds equals half a second. So the mole is going to be popping up every half second. You also want to make sure that timer enabled is checked. And then the last thing we need to do is add in our image sprite. So under animation here, you're going to select the image sprite and you're going to drag it onto your canvas. So left click and drag it onto the canvas. And then we'll go through the properties here. Your heading is going to be zero, interval, you want to set to 500 milliseconds. The picture, this is where you're going to get your PNG that you saved earlier. So you're going to click on that, go to add, and then you're going to upload the file. So choose file, you're going to go to where you saved it. So mine is on my desktop, so I'm going to go there. Select mole.png and hit open and click OK. speed you'll leave it zero. The X and the Y it's talking about the position of the sprite so if you move it you'll see that the X and the Y change. And then the width and the height are going to be on automatic. Okay, so once you have that, you should have those six components set up. Go ahead and click Save. That'll save your project, and that's going to be the end of part one for our video. Thank you.